Good morning, everyone. You are watching Breakfast Television. It is 741. Andrea Donsky is here, and she is the co-author of Unjunk Your Junk Food. I really did give that book to my daughter. I'm so happy to hear that. You made my day. Well, she's still eating the junk food, though. But, well, you know, I'm still trying to teach her. And, you know, part, it's part of it, well, a lot of it. It is. It is my fault because I've been giving her these, these uh, processed foods, foods with this stuff in it. So first of all, let's talk about what you brought on the table right here. So it's not your fault, first of all. When we know better, we do better. So okay. it's all about the chemical additives. And many of us don't really realize what we're, con what we're ingesting on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. So what we did when we wrote the book is we found, we call it the scary seven, which are the seven worst ingredients we found in all packaged foods, but primarily junk food. Read your labels. Okay, what did we find? So we found high fructose corn syrup right here yep this is what it looks like that's it's in a, a lot of stuff it's in everything yeah. from granola bars to sodas to it really in everything and it's in cookies and the reason why it's not good is because it's a cheap sugar and it comes at a high cost to our health and mm -hmm. it's they basically we know now that it causes insulin resistance which is the step before type 2 diabetes yes heart disease and increased belly fat Wow, so I that's don't like the that. research. No, it, so that's the research. So and what can we do? We need to substitute. So what we do is we pick options that have that don't have it in it. That use cane sugar. That use more natural, unprocessed sugars. Okay. And there are a lot of a lot of examples. The next the next scary ingredient would be trans fats. All right, right and, here. And this is what it looks like. And this Ugh. is the consistency of it. And it's in also many different products. And what the reason you know what we want to do is avoid it because and we don't really know what to look for in a label. There's a loophole in Canada that if it has less than 0.2 grams of trans fat per serving, it could actually say zero trans fats on the nutrition oh, no. facts panel. So we wouldn't even know. We wouldn't even know. So that's why we say it's really important that we read the label okay. because on the label it'll be known as shortening partially hydrogenated fat and hydrogenated fat. Okay. So that's something that we really need to look for. And we know that it causes cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. Again, the research points to it. Okay, research does point to that. Okay, right here, we've got Artificial that. colors. Yeah, artificial colors. Yeah, so these are in everything. And the reason why I'm so passionate about avoiding it is because when it comes to our children, again, research shows that it causes hyperactivity in kids with and without behavioral problems. Wow. So it's something, and it's found everywhere. It's found now, summer's coming up. It's found in our freezies. It's found in, you know, cookies. It's found in candies. Can it, candies and everything. So what we look for is really better alternatives that don't have them. They use natural fruit and vegetable dough. Like what? Instead. Can you show me something? So sure. So for example, the surf sweets, they make a great candy without any of these all natural fruit and vegetable coloring instead. And you're still satisfying that craving. Absolutely. And they taste delicious. So for example, this would be an alternative to okay. M&Ms and they don't have any of the artificial colors in them. And it mm. tastes very similar to them. Now, you might see that they're not as bright as them, right? Because mm -hmm. artificial colors, what they do is they're very bright. A little so bit different. It tastes a little bit different. But they still taste delicious. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, is that they just, we, we eat with our eyes and we think that if something's really bright colored, that it's going to taste delicious too. But it's right. not the case. Well, if you start giving your kids this food from the very beginning too, this is what they're going to know. Well, uh, exactly. Right here, we've got some cookies on the table. So these are our alternatives to Oreos. So definitely please try one. They're delicious. So this, okay. this and this doesn't have any high fructose corn syrup in okay. it. And it tastes, I think it tastes a lot like an Oreo or if not exactly like it. And again, when you give it to the kids when they're really little, they don't really know the difference. Mm -hmm. and right up at the front here. And what this, do we have? So these are chocolates. These mm -hmm. basically don't have any artificial colors, which would be another of the scary ingredients. This is gum. So we now artificial sweeteners, big time, they're in everything. So we were just talking about it a few minutes ago. Yeah, because uh, sometimes I will use an artificial sweetener in my tea. And you said you wanted me to try this stevia. So I did. I'm trying it in my tea right now. And yes. it's the same. That This does taste the same. And the thing about artificial sweeteners is we know it can cause side effects like memory loss, mm -hmm. which is a big thing. Well, oh, that's my excuse. Okay. And dizziness. That's why. That's why. Exactly. My <laughs> So these are reasons why we want to avoid anything like artificial sweeteners. Okay, right up at the front here. So this would be this. MSG, monosodium mm -hmm. glutamate, which we find in a lot of items like dips and chips. Um, so and also artificial flavors and also preservatives. Okay, so there are alternatives out there. Thank you so much, yep. Andrea Donsky. If you want more information, go to naturally savvy.com yep. uh, and it's not it's spelled with two b's so we'll have that on breakfast television.ca uh, unjunk your junk food that's the name of the book so nice to meet you nice to meet you too thank you